So wearing false eyelashes can instantly elevate your look. I mean, you've never seen me without them, I'll just tell you right now. Uh, but let's face it, they're not the easiest thing to put on, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Luckily, I have hair and makeup professional, Kelby Blosser, here Hi. to walk us through the process um, and the supplies she likes to use. And we have our editor, Gloria Angelin, graciously being our model today. Um, now, Gloria said she doesn't usually wear lashes because mm -hmm. she doesn't want to like take up her whole eye. So you said a big part of it is finding the right lashes for you. Right, exactly. That's the biggest part, making sure size-wise, length-wise, volume-wise, mm -hmm. that you choose the right ones. Um, particularly ones that have a thin or fine band will make it much easier to apply because they're almost invisible and you okay. can't see or feel them. So by band, you can, you can actually see on the lashes if there's like a black thick black line, exactly. that's not the ones you want, the, one, the ones that are like almost invisible. Yeah. So these you have here, the Ardell Demi Wispies are some yep. of my favorite, but what other favorites do you have? Well, Ardell is a fairly popular brand, mm -hmm. Kiss is another popular brand, in all honesty, I kind of go back and forth between either one, depending okay. on either what's available or if I like one better than the, the next for whoever the client is. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get started. So Gloria, you're gonna, you yeah. you want her to start by <laughs> doing do. it? Okay, yeah. so nervous. <laughs> that's okay, don't be nervous. This okay. is why we're here, because people just don't know, and if yes. you don't know, you can't do it. So you'll take your glue. There's all sorts of different kinds of glue, but mm -hmm. Ardell and mm -hmm. Kiss Duo all have different ones. But I do a little dollop of glue, okay. and then take with a, um, Tweezer, yep, right. your first one. So what we've already done is pre-measured the lashes. You wanna make sure that they're not too long, so okay. you can cut off either end to make them fit your okay, actual so lash cut, line. In, yeah, so cut either end, okay. Yep. And then what I do is cut it in three sections from there. So you're working with less, and you're able to put it on much easier. Okay. So what I'll do is you take this, and then mm -hmm. I actually will dip a little bit uh, with either the backside of a brush, a makeup brush, or whatever, and just apply it. Just to the a back there. Tiny yep. amount of just glue. Just a tiny, okay. tiny bit. So this in, is the inside. Yes, that's the inside. Okay. In real life, we let that be a little more tacky, but it'll be fine for this. Okay. So you're just looking down with a magnified mirror is especially best, and just look down and literally set it right on your lash line, right there. on your lash, okay, you're doing in between so your good. skin. Yeah, no that's pressure. perfect. Yeah, right. is that no, good? That's great. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. Gee. Perfect. And then just we'll kind of. Yep. There you go. And okay. then you take the next one. Okay. Can I ask? Mm -hmm. to, can I jump in for Absolutely. a second? Absolutely. Um, why are do you do it in three sections? Well, for me, I find it much easier to manage than taking one big whole one because inevitably. You're off one way or another. You're too far in, mm -hmm. you're too far out. If you were gonna keep it whole, my suggestion would be to start in the center okay. and then just set it down lightly and move it in or out depending on if it's too far in or too far out. Okay. And then, you know, push and it then, in and grasp And the, the glue rest, will the last that long and set, right? Oh yeah, yeah, you want it to be tacky. You don't want it to actually really be wet. So if you wait a little bit and have to move it around, it's kind of better because it gives it more time to become tacky and not wet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is the key or we can use our fingers? You can, I find yeah. that it's a little easier uh, with a, a, a tweezer. Yeah, I can't do it without tweezers. Yeah, especially I see like my I have nails, yeah. <laughs> fingers coming at me. Can I do it right? Yes, <laughs> you're doing great. great. Yes, and then pick up the last one. Okay. And that's your outside corner. And like I said, they're already pre-measured, so they're gonna be a perfect fit. So. Um, Please. And you can kind of be imperfect because uh, that's the point is that, you know, you just get them in there and then uh -huh. play around from there. So you also have the, I'm going to let Gloria finish that yeah. up. You have the individual ones too. I've never used these. Where do you put those? So sometimes people don't want a whole uh, strip or a whole full lash. So yeah. sometimes they'll put them on the outside corners okay. after they've done some mascara outside corners or just set them on. Or you can actually create a full look because they have short, medium, long. They have black, brown. You can create a whole look that's so customizable. you can just do your thing. Yep. And I that's mean, probably a little more advanced, but getting used to it is the biggest key. Look at how pretty that is. I know, looks. right? That's so great. Yes. So, um... Now you say to clamp the lashes? Or? Yes, so okay. you can find these clamping tools. Again, um, many places will have them. Uh, Kiss has one, mm -hmm. uh, Lilac Street and Lashify, all of these big name brands will have one, but it's kind of a cool clamp because then you'll take it, and I won't make you do this to yourself, but um, you would essentially uh, clamp then the lash that you put on mm -hmm. to your lash uh, all the way down oh, okay. across you know, okay. a couple times to get times it, to make secure sure it's it. secure. Yep. Um, and then that's it. So I can see a little glue on her eye, obviously, still, but that's going to clear up. Is there any glue you like better than the other? Because I'm allergic to most of the glues, to oh, be okay. honest. I mean, I haven't run into any issues personally or clients that have said any, mm -hmm. uh, that they've had any trouble. So, I mean, anything that you see at, you know, over the counter, okay. um, like I said, Ardell and Kiss are going to be the two most popular ones. Um, but, you know, some of them are more longer wearing, um, and that will come with, like, the, the Kiss... Um, 
uh, oh gosh, Falscara. It's a oh, new oh, one. Oh yeah, okay. And they have like overnight wear. I use the Duo, it, the brush on though. Oh yeah, that's because fine too. Because sometimes the glue is too much. Although you guys want to know what I use? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm telling Kelly this. I actually use Elmer's glue to put my lashes oh. on. Well, oh, that's wow. dangerous, but cool. <laughs> Here's why. All the other glues irritated my eyes, and I figure if a kindergartner can eat the glue, yeah. what's it going to do to my eyes, fair right? Enough. I mean, fair enough. But does it work? <laughs> it, it works it better? It works pretty good. And it does. it's not hard to remove. That's the, my other question, is oh, yeah. how do you remove the glue? Because I don't want to lose any of my own lashes no, by never. putting on lashes. So the biggest thing is you can use something oil-based, and that will uh, break up the glue. But for this kind of just one-day type wear, a little um, warm water and cleanser, and just mm -hmm. gently kind of rub it off, and then you can um, pull them. I also read once, and I don't know, and I wanted to ask you about this, is you can use almost like coconut oil to help it. Right. Well, okay. to help your to help it come off. Yeah. 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 Anything oil based because that's what is like the the kryptonite <laughs> to, to lashes. Yeah, it'll it'll break up that base. <laughs> so you kind of want to stay away from it until you're ready. Um, okay. You look great, honestly. Thank you. you did great. Yeah. It looks did amazing. It feel okay? And you don't do you feel like your eye is like covered by the lash? Well I like it because it doesn't cover my eyeshadow. Yes. Yeah. That's the the first reason I didn't like it because it's always covering like all just eyelashes. But it is pretty comfortable actually. Yeah, oh, good. I you like it. Look it looks gorgeous. you did great for a yeah. first timer. I love it. And you can <laughs> reuse lashes, <laughs> right? You can. Um, yes. depending on so sometimes people will get makeup on them um, or they put mascara over which is fine but they do have uh, some companies have lash shampoo that you can actually oh my, use my and clean your lashes and reuse them another time awesome and we didn't even get to talk about the ones that you can wear all week long but we're yes, you go to your okay. go to your Instagram go yes. to Kelby's Instagram and she's got all that info there yes. thank you so much you're so welcome